Hello friends, in today's video lab, we are going to see how to create a group policy object and how to link it. First of all, let's understand what is group policy. Group policy in Windows is the essential way that most organizations use for controlling and deploying operating system settings to the computer all over your active directory network. Group policy consists of users and computer settings for the various Microsoft Windows operating system which the systems implement during computer startup and shutdown and user logon and logout. Group policy can be linked to site, domain or OU to apply the settings to the all users and computers within the Active Directory container. Remember, you cannot link group policy to the built-in container like users and computers container. So let's go straight to the demonstration. In the first step, we are going to create a group policy object and to do that, you have to open a group policy management console. The group policy management console is by default installed on all domain controller. So first of all, let's open the server manager, click on tools, select group policy management console. And for the purpose of this demonstration, we are login as a administrator. So that's why I have a sufficient privilege to create the group policy object. On a group policy management console, expand your forest, expand your domains and expand your domain name. In our case, it is mprtv.local. Under your domain, click on group policy object and under the group policy object, you can see uh, existed group policy objects are there. Now, we are going to create a new group policy object and that's why just right click on group policy objects and select new. Just specify the name of your group policy. Just specify the name test GPO. Click on OK. This will create a one group policy object under our domain. Now I can see the name of our group policy object is this GPO. This GPO is not linked with any OU domain or site, and that's why this field is empty. If you click on our details, we can see every group policy object has a one 128-bit unique identifier number, and this is the number for our group policy object. Just right click on it and select Edit to edit the group policy object. Now this will open group policy management editor console from where you can edit your group policy object. Now here we have a two type of configuration. One is computer configuration and second one is user configuration. Under user configuration, these settings will apply on all your user account where you link the group policy object. Expand the policies. Under expand administrative templates. And just for a testing purpose, I'm going to set a policy for personalization prevent changing theme on our client computer. Just double click on it and this will open a console. This is the brief for you information about the settings. By default, it is not configured. That's enable. That means once you enable these settings, it will prevent users from changing the theme and supported on at least Windows Server 2003 operating system or Windows XP professional operating system. Click on apply and click on OK. Now, as you can see, the state is currently enabled. Now click on close to close this console. Click on settings. This will generate one report so where you can see how many settings are configured in our group policy object. Under user configuration and the policy, expand administrative templates. Under administrative templates, we can say control panel, then personalize, and we just set this policy. Now in the next step, we are going to link a newly created group policy object to OU. Now, if you see under Active to Users and Computers, under Asia, under India, we have a one uh, OU named HR Team and we want to apply this policy to this OU HR Team. And that means this policy will be applicable on our all users residing in this OU. Now, let's come back on a Group Policy Management Console, expand Asia, expand India and select HR Team. Just right click on your OU and select Link and Existing GPO. Here we have a total three group policy object on our domain. That is default domain controller policy, default domain policy and newly created group policy named test GPU. Select the test GPU and click on OK. Now, as you can see, the precedence order of this group policy object is one. And if you click on a test GPU and if you click on a scope, you can see this test GPU is currently linked with HR team OU. You can link GPO to the AD sites and domain in the same way that it's possible to link them to any OU. 
the GPO settings will be applied to Active Directory object that fall in the scope. So in this example, any user account located under HR team, the policy will be applied on them. Now let's check on a client computer. Now as you can see, under HR team, we have a user named David Smith. So on a Windows 10 client computer, I'm going to log in with the user named David Smith. So now let's uh, log on with our user name David Smith and specify the password and then hit enter. Now we just log in with the, our user name uh, David Smith. Now if you want to check which policies are applying on user at that time you can run the command rsop.msc. Click on close. Just click on user configuration, select property and select all these three box and here we can see the policy is applying on our user is this GPU. So this is the policy currently applying on our user and the scope of management is who is equal to HR team, who is equal to India, who is equal to Asia, this is equal to MPR TV and this is equal to local. So this policy is coming from our OU name HR team. Now let's try to set a new theme on our Windows 10 computer. Just right click on it, select personalize, click on themes click on theme settings and as you can see we are not able to select any theme on this computer one of more settings on this page has been disabled by the system administrator and that's why we are not able to change the theme so in this way we can create a group policy object and then we can link them to particular OU in active directory thanks for watching this video